Assalamualaikum and good day everyone This video will discuss about uh, chapter 4 uh, Which is the last subtopic 4.7 Application of multiple integrals By the end of this section, students should be able to find the surface area using double integral Find the mass center of gravity and centroid of lamina using double integrals and find the mass center of gravity and center of, of a solid using triple integral but this video will discuss about 4.7.1 which is surface area okay actually surface area is an application of multiple integral okay uh, this is the information about the surface area the area of the surface with equation z equals to f of x and y where partial z partial x and partial z partial y are continuous is by the given equation of a of s okay i would like to explain the situation let's say look at the graph let's say you have three dimensional situation where this one this surface area is represented by z equals to f of x y okay and then you have to find this portion or this surface area of this region Okay, suppose it will reflect or it will uh, project to the region over here. This one to this one, this one to this one, and this one to this one, and this one to back here. Okay, the region over here is actually a reflect. Or the region over here this is actually our R for this one this R okay okay so by using this equation or formula you will have the surface of real okay let's try to discuss further on this first example Find the surface area of the plane 2x plus 3y plus z equals to 6 in the first octant. Okay, based on, on our discussion before, the surface area or the portion where we have to calculate is actually over here. This triangle. Okay, this triangle. We have to calculate this triangle. Okay, now, by using the formula... A of S, we should find a few things which is del Z, del X, and del Z, del Y. But we don't have any Z over here, right? Okay, we can refer to the idea of what is this the area, the surface represent in here. Okay, this is the surface, right? What we have to do is uh, manipulate it to to be to uh, as z become the subject z equals to uh, six minus two x minus three y. So partial z partial x equals two minus two. This one equals to minus three. Okay, and then a of s equals to. Partial z, partial x, at negative two. We will have four plus nine plus one. Okay. When we simplify, we will have square root fourteen. D A. Okay. Next. Okay. We should define what is our R. Okay. How to define the R based on our discussion before? Actually, we have to project uh, since it's over here in the first octant, right? First octant meaning 
it will uh, project or it will reflect on this plane this one okay so now why don't we transfer this plane into 2d this is x this is y this is 3 this is 2 this is the triangle okay i will color it with the yellow color okay this is actually the region of r okay what we have to do is we have to use this region of r to define the lower limit and upper limit for the both x and y okay remember that we have type 1 and type 2 okay uh, of this case i can see that it's we, we can have uh, either one uh, let's say i choose the first type which is dy dx okay so the outer integration in respect to x so here zero here will be three right so zero three but for the inner integration respect to y over here is a flat a flat line sorry flat line which is zero but over here we have a we have a line with a slope this one okay so now okay to define the red equation the red line equation we can use either y equals to mx plus c the idea of that and by using the these two equation uh, these two point which is uh, 0 2 and 3 0 or we can use this equation directly this equation directly which is uh, z equals to 6 minus 2x minus 3y when z equals to 0 obviously we will have 6 minus 2 minus 2x minus 3y equals to 0 y equals to six mm, minus two x divided by three, which is y equals to two minus two per three x. Okay, so we know that the upper limit for the y is two minus two over 3 x okay so now we we have we, we got all the information so now we continue with the work of integration do it one by one es I put square 14 outside here two x minus um x squared two two times three zero three simplify two x minus x squared per three zero three and okay substitute three first six 
2 times 3 uh, 2 times 3 I do it one by one uh, 3 squared per 3 okay 6 minus 9 per 3 which is 6 minus 3 equals to 3 square root 14 okay this is the answer okay we done with the first uh, example now we will discuss the second example find the area of the part of the paraboloid z equals to x squared plus y squared that lies under the plane z equals to 9 okay over here i would like to explain about the situation obviously the paraboloid is this one this is the paraboloid z equals to x squared plus y squared and it lies under a plane this is the plane this is the plane z equals to 9 okay suppose the surface area that we have to calculate is um, uh, this portion actually this portion okay I, I this mean all over around all over around okay okay I will translate the area into this sketching okay keep in your mind this is uneven surface eh? okay but don't worry you don't have to sketch this green area what you have to focus is you have to focus on the region R what is the region R in this case this is actually the region R Okay, where when we project to the XY plane, we will have this one, as you can see over here. Okay, so now we start to calculate del Z del X equals to to X, while del Z del Y equals to to Y. Okay. And then we put everything into the formula first. 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 1 dA. Okay, so now since I don't have enough space, uh, maybe I have to erase this one. Okay, I would like to sketch the region of R okay okay how to decide the region of R you can read from the equation we have z equals to 9 and z equals to x squared plus y squared right so obviously x squared plus y squared equals to 9 so obviously this is a circle with radius 3 Okay. Okay. Uh, I believe that uh, every one of you know how to differentiate when we have to use uh, the uh, Cartesian coordinate and polar coordinate, right? Obviously, uh, for this one, easy for us to calculate in polar form. Okay, because this is a circle. Okay, this area is a circle. Uh, this area is a circle right so easy for us if we change it to the polar coordinate okay first maybe we translate this one 4x squared plus 4y squared 4x squared plus y squared plus 1 we know that uh, r equals to x squared plus y squared right r squared sorry so obviously this one we will have as 4r squared plus 1 okay clear all right about the da da if we use polar coordinate we can we we will have r dr d theta okay 
this is standard for polar coordinate okay now we define the limit for the r and the theta we go for the theta first maybe this is a whole circle right so meaning from 0 to 2 pi for the r from 0 to 3 then okay so we have set the formula so now what we have to do is just calculate okay clearly we we should use uh, integration by substitution let u equals to 4r squared plus 1 du dr equals to 8r okay and then r dr equals to du per 8 R0, R3. Okay, this one is uh, U power half. R dr, we will have du per 8. And then d theta. Okay. Okay, so now I bring 1 per 8 upside. Theta 0, theta 2 pi, and now we integrate u power half become u power 3 per 2 divided by 3. We bring 2 over here, and then r0, r3, d theta. Okay, at this phase, we replace the u back to the r 2 per 3 4 r squared plus 1 power 3 per 2 0 to 3 d theta and then 2 per 24 0 to pi Okay, I just copy back the whole thing. 3 per 2, 0, 3, d theta. Okay, then AS equals to 1 per 24, eh, sorry, not 24, 1 per 12, 0, 2 pi. Okay. Um, 4 times 9, 36 plus 1, 37 power 3 per 2 minus 1, 3 per 2 d theta okay, then 1 per 12 ok, this is everything is in constant, right? 37 per 3 per 2 and then we integrate this thing with respect to theta we'll have theta 0 2 pi and last one we will have 2 pi per 12 37 power 3 per 2 minus 1 simplify we will have pi per 6 37 minus 1 done okay so we're done with two example i hope you can uh, try this one example 4.7 by using uh, all the information i believe you can do well okay good luck everyone